Welcome to IUW session, Foundation Stage 2. Learning Objective Learners will be able to identify how animals adapt to their surroundings. Learning Outcome Learners are able to identify how animals adapt to their surroundings. What do you see in this picture? Have you ever been to this place? Can you think how we can adapt ourselves to this climate? We can wear clothes like jacket, mittens, woolen cap, gloves, boots, muffler to keep us warm. What else can we do to adapt ourselves when it is too cold? Hmm, we stay at home, sit near bonfire, do barbecue with family. What do you think? How animals will get adapted to this weather? Do you think they will also feel cold as we feel? Where they will go to escape from the cold weather? Let's watch a video to find out. I just got up from a long nap and it feels really great to get some rest. And outside, there are lots of animals just getting ready for a very long rest because it's going to be winter soon. Animals like groundhogs. Groundhogs are little animals that are about half a meter long. They live in the United States and Canada and spend a lot of their time in burrows that they dig into the ground. And right now, groundhogs are trying to get everything ready for a perfect cozy den. They're preparing for hibernation. Hibernation is like a deep, deep sleep that some animals go into during the winter. They'll sleep for months and months and they don't wake up until spring. Oh, those animals aren't necessarily sleepy squeaks. Hibernation is a way for animals to survive the colder winter months. You see, animals normally need plenty of food to survive. But during cold winter months, lots of the food that animals like to eat goes away. In snowy, cold places, the leaves fall off the trees, fruit stops growing, and even the bugs go away. For animals that eat these things, it can be a hungry few months. To survive, some animals will migrate, meaning they'll travel somewhere else where there's more food, like birds that fly to somewhere warmer. Other animals, like squirrels, will store food away to eat when it's cold. But animals like groundhogs can't move somewhere else, and they can't store enough food to last all winter. That's right, Squeaks! They have to hibernate. If a groundhog is hibernating, it doesn't matter if there isn't a lot of food around because the groundhog is fast asleep. I know you still need to wake up and eat after sleeping, but it's different for hibernating animals because hibernating is more than a long nap. Animals spend a long time preparing for hibernation. Before they hibernate, a groundhog will spend weeks eating as much as possible. That little groundhog becomes a great big groundhog with a thick layer of body fat. Then, once it's time, they'll cuddle up in their burrow and go to sleep. Now, normally, when a groundhog goes to sleep, their body rests a little bit. It, but their lungs keep breathing and their heart keeps pumping blood normally. To keep working, the groundhog's lungs and heart need energy from the food they eat. But during the type of very deep sleep the groundhog goes into when they hibernate, their lungs and heart slow way down. Their heart only beats about five times a minute and they only breathe about twice a minute. They go so slowly they don't use as much energy. And since the groundhog's body isn't using very much energy, they don't have to wake up every day to eat more food. Instead, they can use the energy they've already stored. That's right, Squeaks! The groundhog uses the energy they stored up from eating all of that food in the weeks before they hibernated. The layer of fat the groundhog put on in the fall slowly gets used up for energy. And by the time the groundhog needs to wake up to eat, 
it's time for spring. Lots of different animals can hibernate, like bats, chipmunks, and hedgehogs. Bats will even hibernate in large colonies, all huddled together to share warmth. Whoa! I don't know if robots need to hibernate, Squeaks, but maybe it's time for you to take a nap. What do you think it would be like to hibernate all winter long? Can you think of any other animals that rest during the colder months? Can you name the animals that you saw in the video? Groundhog, bats, hedgehog, bears. What do you call when animals rest during the cold weather? Hmm, hibernation. It means that the animals go into deep long sleep during winter season. How do animals find food in the winter? Do you think it is easy for animals to find food? The trees share leaves and are covered with snow. There are no fruits available. It becomes very difficult for animals to find their food. Animals hibernate because there is no food available. They do not work or move much during hibernation and so less energy is used. Which country's map is this? Yes, United Arab Emirates, UAE. When you go for a long drive, what do you see? Yes, we see sand, cactus, pricky plants. Which type of country is the UAE? UAE is a desert country. What type of weather do we normally find in UAE? In UAE, we normally find hot weather. Which animal do you think we can find easily in desert? Correct, camels, Arabian orangs. It is also the national animal of UAE. We see desert snake also, scorpion, desert lizard. Do you see any birds? Hmm, falcon. It is the national bird of UAE. We see vulture and also eagle. Do you think they get the food and water easily in desert? The animals find it difficult to survive. It is very hot and less or no rainfall. But they have learned to live in this climate. How desert animals adapt themselves in the desert? Arabian orangs, kangaroo rat, Arabian red fox. Some animals have thick skin. All the animals have light color coat and fur to absorb less heat. Some animals have large ears which help them to keep warm. Camels have thick eyelashes and closed nostrils to protect themselves from sun. Desert animals can live without water for many days. Most of the desert animals are nocturnal, meaning sleeping during daytime and awake in night time.
Have you ever played this game? We hide in different places in the garden or park. Do you feel even animals play hide and seek? In this picture, we can see one bird. In this picture, can we see birds? No, we cannot see any bird. We could not see the birds because they were hiding. Do you know why birds and animals hide? Why they need to adapt themselves according to their environment? Let's watch a video. We're playing hide and seek, but I can't seem to find squeaks. Can you? Ha! Found ya! <laughs> Here at the fort, we're pretty good at hide and seek. You know why? Because we've learned a lot of great tricks from nature. There are lots of kinds of animals that have their own kind of hide and seek. Some animals hide so they can sneak up on their prey. Other animals hide so they don't become dinner. Either way, these animals don't hide behind curtains or under tables like we do when we want to play hide and seek. They hide in plain sight. That sounds amazing. And they can do it thanks to camouflage. One SciShow Kids viewer named Rianne wants to know, what is camouflage and how does it work? Great question. Camouflage is a way for animals to confuse or hide from other animals. Since lots of different animals are either hiding or seeking, there are lots of different kinds of camouflage in nature. One easy way for an animal to camouflage itself is to just blend in with the background. Let's say you take a quiet walk in the woods. What kind of animals would you expect to see? Well, where I live, I might see some squirrels or a deer or maybe a cute little field mouse. And you know what these mammals all have in common? They're all shades of brown or gray. They match the color of the tree bark and the forest floor where they live. And this makes them harder to spot. Lots of animals blend in with their environment, but not all of them rely on their color to do it. Some animals get help from the patterns on their skin and fur. Tigers have big black stripes, which makes them harder to find in tall grass. And the spots on baby deer, called fawns, look like patterns that sunlight makes as it shines down through the trees and grass. So when they curl up among some plants for a nice nap, they blend right in. Now, animals that live in the water have a different environment that they have to blend into. Many ocean animals like dolphins, sharks, and whales are often light gray or bluish to match the color of the water. But they have another trick too. They're lighter on their stomachs than they are on their back. Look at this shark. It's called a gray reef shark. If you were swimming above the shark looking down, its blue and gray back would blend in with the waters of the ocean below it. But if you were swimming under the shark and looking up, its white belly would match the lighter water above as the sun shines through it. You might say this shark is covered from top to bottom. And some animals don't just take on the color or pattern of their surroundings. They camouflage themselves using their shape. Take a look at this guy. Can you see it? It's called the walking leaf. And no wonder, the walking leaf not only has the color and shape of a green leaf, it even has markings on its body that make it look like it's been nibbled on. Now, try to spot this leafy sea dragon. Covered in small fins all over its body, the leafy sea dragon blends perfectly in the seaweed where it lives. The leafy sea dragon even moves like a piece of seaweed, gracefully tumbling around in the water. That's some convincing camouflage. But of course, a lot of animals don't naturally look like things in their environment. So, some of them have found ways to hide themselves by playing dress up. The dresser crab walks along the seafloor looking for little things that it can wear on its shell, like coral, sea anemones, or seaweed. When it's all covered up and sitting still, the crab is nearly invisible. Then there's this insect called the masked hunter. When they're young, masked hunters are covered in tiny hairs. When it throws dust on top of its body, it sticks to the hairs covering it completely. It's kind of like an invisibility cloak. So there you have it. Animals use all kinds of tricks to keep them hidden. And every animal has a slightly different way to do it, depending on what kind of animal it is and where it lives. So we saw how camouflage is a way of hiding oneself by covering or coloring 
in order to look like the surroundings. Let's play a game. Spot the animals. Come on children. Can you spot which animal you can see in this picture? Yes, correct. It's a crocodile. Let's see which bird you can see camouflaged in this picture. Absolutely correct. It's an owl. Here comes the last picture. Let's see if you all can spot the animal in this picture. Wow, you're correct. It's a giraffe. Reflection time. Apply your knowledge of various adaptations and create your own animal. Record a video explaining about where your animal will stay and how it will adapt to its surrounding. Thank you.